Hello friends. Today we are gonna look at Roop inside of Stable Diffusion, where you can take an image like this and get it with a face like this or with any face for that matter. You can reproduce any image with any face without any dream booth or LoRa training at all. It's just one click away. Let's get started. So all the links are going to be in the description below. So check that out. So first we are going to get Roop here and you get that from GitHub. But before that, we need to install some prerequisites. So first get the Visual Studio here. We're downloading this one, the free one. We're just pressing continue here. And Visual Studio is downloading and installing. And it says here, during the install, Make sure to include the Python and C++ packages. All right, after that it's finished. It says run this command pip install inside face. So we're going to copy paste this, going to open a command window by pressing the windows button and typing cmd. And then we're pasting that straight in. And now it's collecting inside face, installing build dependencies. And that's going to be done in just a second or a few minutes. Now we are going to go into extensions here. I'm going to check available load from and then we're just going to control F and type in root. We have it here, but one of the first one SD web UI root enable face swapping with reference image. So just press install that. After that is finished. We are going to restart our automatic 11.11. So I'm quitting the terminal and starting a new session as you're restarting automatic 11.11. This time around, it will take a little bit longer than usual because you're going to install some root requirements, but that will all be automated. Just know that it will take a little longer than usual. For me, this took about 1 to 2 minutes and Stable Fusion has now restarted. See, here we have our second session, and we have Roop here. Now let me show you how Roop works. So let's start with the prompt here. Let's take girl with Iron Man suit. Negative prompt we will give blur. And now we are just generating image. So we got a image of girl with Iron Man suit here. However, this one I think we are going to use. So let's take this one and just reuse our seed. Let's take another image. We're going to take this girl Wednesday fame Jenna Ortega. So we're going to drag that one into Roop and then we're enabling Roop. And we're just keeping everything at default here for now. And then we're generating this again. Now, as this was the first time that we actually used Roop, there was some extra work behind the scenes. So this took a little longer than usual. But as you can see here, our result, while a little low rest, is very similar to the image down here. And if we pull them up side by side here, I would say that this is not half bad. It's actually very good. So that's super cool and impressive. And now, let's say that you want to do multiple people. So let's change this into two girls in coffee shop. And we are enabling Roop here once again. Now, if you press a little comma here, and at once so we have a 0 and a 1, we are generating again, you should be able to see that both of these girls will get the same face. Take this one. And our original, I would say it's pretty good. They are all very similar. Now, you might ask, what's the point of having an image with two or three or more people where everyone has the same image for one? Could be fun. But wait, there is more. Let me show you that trick. Oh, and just a tip, if you want to do more than one face, it's just add like comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five. Just keep on going doesn't matter. So let's say if I keep this at zero and I generate this again, you can see here that if you compare this image to the one that we had previously, 
Let's get this all out of the way. So the right one here, that's where we used 0, 1. So both of the faces were changed. And the left one here we used 0. So only this face was changed. Now let's go into your folder for automatic 1111 and find extensions. And then you're going to find root here and just copy Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Copy paste that. Change this to root 2 and then you're going to restart your stable diffusion. So quit the terminal window, the command window and start the web UI user again. So now we are back in here and as you can see, we have one group here but also one group here. So now let me show you something cool. Let's do again. To girls in coffee shop and generating image. Let's using that seed. And then for the first group here going to use our image from before. And then we are going to use the second group here. Going to add another face. It's going to take this girl. I'm going to change this to one. Let's make sure that both of these are enabled and let's generate again. And with our result here, now we have our face, the girl here to the left and a second girl to the right. So that's a very cool way to add multiple faces inside of Roop and Stable Fusion. I bet you didn't know that one and if you did, great work. So I hope you enjoyed this little guide on Roop. I had some great fun with this extension. It's really powerful and I think I'm going to be using it a lot in the future. If you enjoyed this content like and subscribe. Thank you.